For a long time with Google Sheets queries, I've had as big of a problem as you can possibly have with when you're dealing with spreadsheets. And that is when I had two tables and I wanted to um, pull all of the results from one table that also matches um, the other table. So like this, let's zoom in here, this table of handles here versus this table of tweets that has a bunch of handles that may or may not overlap with this group of handles that I have here. Um, so basically what we, we if you're using like SQL, you'd call that nesting. So you wanna write something like, you know, select star where um, in, you know, table two. Select, select star from table one where value in table two. So you wanna like take everything from table one where something is equal to something in table two. So classic nesting, and if you ever write SQL, you probably use that a lot. But I couldn't figure out a way to do that in Google Sheets. Um, take all of the, the tweets from this table where the handle matches up with a separate table of handles that maybe I could you know, add to if I wanted to. Um, but I figured out, and someone actually commented, uh, I don't know if it was commented or just sent me an email from the email list about this, um, but the solution works really well, and I wanted to, uh, to share it with you. So basically, if you, you know, we'll zoom in on this formula here, but what this does is it's a, it's a basic query function, if you're familiar, um, and if you're, you're not, check out um, some of the other videos on this channel. There's some, some more basic walkthroughs. But this takes all of our tweets. That's our data range. Um, let's get rid of this guy. And then it takes the handle and the count, the sum of retweets. Uh, that's just saying where D is greater than or equal to zero. It's just saying don't take uh, blank columns here. And here's really the rub where this, this joining is happening. Uh, ignore this C equals blah, blah, blah. That's just... Uh, a kind of filler to get this going. But really what's happening with this nesting is we're saying put together all of the, in B4B, that's this range here, put together all of these handles in a, a one long string of ors. So what this is saying is concatenate all of these to or C equals or C equals. So let's pull this out of the formula and just see what this looks like in in real life and let's move that over here so it's just a long or string or c equals handle growth hackers sean ellis inbound org losers hq and the rest are just blank um it's just a long long string so if we added you know friend of coding is for losers ben collins you know he'd pop up here um, and all that's doing is passing this or string into the query itself. So if we look at, and that pulls those results. So if we look at this text here, well, oh, we're in column B, so let's not do that. It's just, it's just spitting this long string of ors out in between these parentheses and just taking anything that matches. So it's basically a poor man's nest, sorry to, for the motion sickness there, but it's kind of a poor man's nesting. Um, and all this does is, is returns all the results that match anyone who's in this list. So who else is in here? Uh, let's take this handle, we'll, we'll add them here and you'll see that they pop up at the bottom here. So if you have a long, if you have say like one table of values, like this table of tweets, and then you have a second list of a table of, of some column there where you want to return everything that matches anyone in here, you can use this kind of nesting uh, concatenation trick and just basically rip out this formula. Um, sorry, this formula here, let me highlight this, uh, and paste it into whatever your query is. So I hope that helps.